Hi, Nelson Ierson here at the 2013 New York Auto Show next to the 2014 Range Rover Sport. Replacing the old 5-liter normally aspirated V8 is a new 3-liter supercharged V6 rated at 340 horsepower. Now that's 35 horsepower less than the last engine, but the new Range Rover Sport weighs 800 pounds less, so it ends up being a quicker combination. It's also going to be more efficient, although exactly how much more we're not sure yet. On the whole, this new Range Rover Sport seems to be much more focused and much more in line with the latest products from Range Rover and from Land Rover in general. We're really looking forward to getting behind the wheel of the car, especially when it comes to going off-road, because despite this being the Sport, it still has all of the Land Rover DNA built inside of it. That's electronics, that's the suspension system itself. The whole thing works together, and having taken the last generation Range Rover Sport off-road before, we're really impressed with it, and we're looking forward to seeing if this one retains that capability while enhancing its on-road presence. Inside the new Range Rover Sport, it's exactly what you'd expect if you've been in one before. If you haven't, think Rolls-Royce meets SUV. Expanses of leather, a brilliantly laid out, simple, straightforward design. It still feels rugged. It still feels off-roady and durable, despite being opulent and luxurious at the same time. Uh, as you can see, the leather is very nicely finished. Metal accent trim everywhere, wood grains. The whole thing works together in a way that you don't often find in an SUV and at a level you don't often find in an SUV. When it comes to luxury SUVs, Land Rover has long been in a class of its own and the newest Range Rover Sport appears to continue that lineage. Also new for the 2014 Range Rover Sport is a new 5 plus 2 seating system. That gives you five normal seats as always, plus two additional seats for occasional use, as Range Rover describes it. Now that indicates to us it's not likely to be comfortable or spacious, but it's there in a pinch if you need to carry those two extra passengers. It's a nice addition to the line. One thing that's not changing is the top-end V8 supercharged engine. It's 510 horsepower. But what does change is a reduction in 0 to 60 times, now down to 5.0 seconds. If you opt for the less expensive, less powerful supercharged V6, you'll still get to 60 in 6.9 seconds, which is again quicker than the outgoing base V8. For the full details, be sure to read our preview and our live photos post direct from the New York Auto Show about the new 2014 Range Rover Sport. And look forward later this year for a good first drive report giving you all the impressions about the, the capabilities on-road and off-road, features, and all of the new elements that go into the Range Rover Sport's design.